There is a rising wave of Islamophobia across Europe, driven by fears of immigration from Muslim lands and rate of conversion to Islam amongst the local Christian communities. While Germany remains number one preferred destination of immigrants followed by the United Kingdom, reactions against the Muslims are more strong across Netherlands, Denmark and Italy. These reactions are changing political landscape, pushing more and more European countries towards ultra-right and ultra-conservative parties that oppose immigration, Islam and the European Union. In October last year, Georgia Maloney, representing Brothers of Italy, an ultra-right-wing party, became the Prime Minister of Italy. Io penso che ci sia un problema di compatibilità tra la cultura islamica o certa interpretazione della cultura islamica. Italian Prime Minister's big statement on Islam. Giorgia Meloni says there is no place for Islam in Europe. Compatibility problem with Islam. And now in November, Holland created shockwaves with the victory of Freedom Party of Geert Wilders, known for his anti-Islam commentaries. Wilders is set to become the Prime Minister of Netherlands. Paradox is that while Europeans hate Islam, in general, most who have interacted with Muslims ended up liking them for their faith and belief in something to hang on when life is difficult. This drives conversions to Islam. Moeed Pirzada sat down with Edward Gerald, a Muslim convert from Geert Wilders Holland to understand what brought him to Islam. Edward is founder of Times Mayfair, a multimedia company that works with major brands across Europe. You move from one faith yeah. into another faith. You move from the church into the mosque. What is that phenomenon? Actually, when I was a young boy, I learned more about the Muslim culture, about the Ramadan and uh, the Quran. So the father taught me a little bit about the Quran. I, I remember it was a red color Quran. Red color Quran. A red color Quran, yes. Even though I was young, I felt and I've, I, I read a lot of news that the Christianity and, 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 and the Catholic, it disappeared and the Muslim culture just rised up more. Assalamu alaikum, this is Muid Pizada. I am with a very interesting person right now, as the name is Edward Jell. You do not know about him. He's a multimedia professional. But interestingly, uh, is, this is not the reason for the interest. The interest is this, that he's someone who transcends across multiple cultures and religions, born as a Roman Catholic, converted to Islam, married to a Pakistani uh, origin doctor, uh, living across the uh, UK, uh, and now shifting to United States. So, but the thing that of course makes it very interesting for me is this conversion to Islam at a time when Islam, and in, especially in the country where he comes from in Holland, where Islam is under attack, is maligned continuously, and we see Gideon Wilders is about to become the Prime Minister of Holland. Um, Edward, very warm welcome to this discussion. Thank you, Sanam Alego. So, my, straight away, my question is, I mean, uh, what brought you to Islam? Um, coming from a culture of uh, Holland, uh, 60 million people, we are, uh, Holland is known as a, a Christian Catholic uh, country, um, but we have a big 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 mix of Moroccan and Turkish people um, so we well I grew up with neighbors um, and near me they're Moroccans and uh, amazing family um, but they have taught me about you know not only about Christian and Catholic they taught me about the Muslim culture uh, so actually when I was a young boy I learned more about the uh, Muslim culture about the Ramadan and uh, the Quran, so etc. Those those things, and then yeah. So when you first started to actually read Quran, oof, I was uh, when I was in high school, and there was a girl called Khadija Dudu. The uh, family is an amazing. I'm from Morocco, Casablanca. And uh, so the father told me a little bit about the Quran. I, I remember it was a red color Quran. Red color Quran. Red color Quran. Yes, yes. And uh, so he told me with his sons about the Quran and told me about the duas and everything else. And then later on, we, we just, you know, I went a little bit the different way and then uh, going to university. But then, yeah, it always sticks. So Eddie, uh, Eddie uh, oh. if I call you by the name, it's your friend, yeah. call you by Eddie. Uh, 
you must have been reading about Christianity. You must be reciting Bible in the school. Uh, so you had two comparisons. On one side was the Roman Catholicism, the other side was Islam. So the point is this, it couldn't be just the influence of the neighbors. I mean, what was the thing within you that started to inspire you towards Quran, towards Islam? Oh, so um, I was on a school, it was a Christian school uh, called Finzen van Gogh, the famous painter. Um, I remember every, every morning uh, we had to bring our Bible. Uh, mm -hmm. So seven till nine, we had to read the Bible and do our prayers. I always felt uncomfortable with this. Why? This, um, because uh, even though I was young, I felt and I've, I, I read a lot of news that the Christianity and, 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 and the Catholic, it disappeared. It, 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 it didn't have any more the faith how it was. And the Muslim culture just rised up more. Oh, oh stop, 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 stop. Andy. What do you mean by this, that faith disappeared from Christianity in your view? I I seen in many family members, they they were very in Holland, uh, a very Christian, uh, Christianity. And, but what happened is they, they lost the faith. They lost the faith. Yeah, yeah. I, I cannot explain how it is, but it's just... Slowly, I saw by a lot of friends, family, when they're Catholic or, or Christianity, they just, it wasn't believable anymore. And when I went to the family. You mean, you mean the message was not believable? Anymore? Yeah, the message well, they didn't receive. Same okay. Thing. And uh, so were you looking for faith? Were you looking yeah. for belief? Yeah, just uh, something to hold on. And... Um, and always the Muslim culture always kept in my mind. And I was with a lot of people in, in uh, my area was uh, with a lot of Muslim cultures. Uh, Eddie, many, many people, what happens in the modern contemporary world is that they grow out of Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism. Uh, they become what they call as um, either they are non-believers or they are atheists. They yeah. stop believing. Uh, they don't believe in the rituals. They don't go to the church. They don't go to the mosque. They, mm -hmm. they do every kind of thing. They drink and eat whatever they want to. But they never declare a conversion of faith. What brings someone like you where you actually declare your conversion? You know, you move from one faith yeah. into another faith. You move from the church into the mosque. What is that phenomenon? Um, so I, I, um, I converted in 2016. I had a actually a, um, a bad uh, um, experience um, tragedy my son passed away I'm sorry too uh, thank you uh, but um, it taught me how life is I how old was your son two he was a, a king and still is a king on this day but I wanted peace and I did not have this with Catholic or Christianity you didn't go to a bishop no, not at all, because um, it didn't give me the message and the peace what I wanted to look for. I had a very tough time, um, and the best people that really actually uh, called me and, and catched me was uh, the Muslim culture. And um, the family of Dudu, Khadija, Khadija uh, they really called me um, when I was in my most lowest point of life. And this be argued that this particular family of Khadija Dudu and those Moroccan immigrants in Holland, since they were really caring, loving, affectionate, they were sympathetic, they became your support system. It is because of the value system of the Moroccan immigrant family that you were attracted to Islam. Yeah. It is not because of any preacher. No, I think it's more the connection what I have with the family. More than what, what I have my, with my own uh, uh, believable of, of Catholic and Christianity. Uh, they taught me more about what I wanted to hear. So I took that all. I remember one day when I was walking, I uh, had a long hour walk, and I thought about it a lot. And this walk really made me think I like to, you know, uh, become Muslim. So I... You walked? Yeah, I had a you long, walked, long, walked. long, long walk. Long, long... And you were thinking? Yeah, loads, loads of things. I like to go to a mosque, see how it is. I wanted to learn more about the culture of 
the Muslim. I seen a lot, lived in Amsterdam, and there was so many. If you know Amsterdam, there's so many culture of of, of the Muslims. And um, so I've walked a long, a long, long hour walk, thinking, thinking, and then, yeah, I became Muslim. I was in Amsterdam a long time ago, about 30 years ago. Yeah. And I remember the city for its canal system. Yeah. For the painter and the philosopher Rembrandt. Yeah. Rembrandt place, a very liberal culture. Famous man. Um, and a culture that had no respect for any any kind of religion. No. Um, a sort of um, irreverent culture. Rembrandt plain. Um, uh, <laughs> and people with multiple languages. Yeah. So, um, but um, over the years, over the past seven years, yeah. Holland is also a country which has a lot of um, reaction, antagonism, and hostility toward the Muslim immigrants from Morocco and Turkey, the kind of immigrants that influence your mind. Yeah. So what is going on in Holland? Um, a lot at the moment. Over the last two weeks, if you read the news or anybody... Uh, I followed. Yeah, if you follow it, it's been very international. So we had a prime minister called Rutte. Uh, he's gone now. Uh, he was actually really with the Muslim culture. Now we have a person that's against the Muslim. And his name Are is... Are you referring to Gerrit Wilders? Gerrit Wilders. Well, he hasn't become the prime minister. He will become the prime minister. Yeah. Well, he, he's already there. And um, he, he made some great... Well, not great. Pardon. Uh, 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 horrible statements about the Muslim. Um that he, I wouldn't say hated, but he disliked the belief in a culture of the Muslims. And it's like... He holds Muslims and Islam responsible for the trouble of the world. Yeah. But the fact that Gideon Wilder's party uh, has become the most popular party means he has a lot of support. Now, you come from a culture yeah. which has a lot of hostility towards Muslims and Islam. How it affected you from 2016 onwards? Um, a lot, actually, uh, because Holland was actually really uh, peaceful. We supported a Muslim, actually any mix in Holland. Um, obvious, I'm, I'm with a uh, beautiful Pakistani uh, wife and she's Muslim. The whole family is Muslim. So for me, telling what's happening now in Holland, it hurts me. Because we live in a very, very awful world at the moment. And here in this, in my own country, it's absurd that this could be tolerated in this society. While the Muslim culture is rising, and they always say the Muslims are the killers. But every country, every belief, example what's happening now, Everybody is a killer. So it's not one person or that person. It's individual. It's everyone is doing it. And, and in my own country, to see this and to hear this, yeah, it breaks me. So any, I have a really tricky question for you. It's a complex question. Go on. When you look at most of the immigrants that come to Europe from Morocco, I mean, Turkish are fair-skinned, but Moroccans are often not fair-skinned. Yeah. Do you think the reaction against the Muslim immigrants and Islam is also color-based or is just the faith-based? No, faith-based. It's a faith -based. Yeah, because uh, yesterday there was a famous, uh, um, if, you know it, uh, if you know the world boxer, he, he's the biggest boxer, Floyd Mayweather, he has a, a person next to him. He is actually one of the biggest boxer at the moment. He became yesterday, he converted yesterday in Muslim. So, no, it's not color-based. I think everybody can be Muslim. If you have the heart and the spirit, if then you can you can be a, a Muslim. Well, the prejudice which the people face, the Muslims' Islamophobia. Yeah. You being a white person from Europe, do you yeah. feel the same stench of the Islamophobia as a brown Muslim faces? That is, I feel more powerful than and a, a person that has to uh, grow up with a Muslim culture. I feel more. I, I remember I was in the mosque. I go Fridays uh, with a friend of mine in uh, when I'm back in UK, uh, in Fulham or in Mayfair. I sit there and do my duas for three hours and we speak. Uh, obvious I have tattoos and, and uh, 
they're not even actually stereotypes. You know, they always say this is between you and Allah. And even I went to Saudi, no comment. But when I speak with the Dutch people, they're like, are you Muslim? Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Why? Why are you Muslim? Mm. And so there's a big stereotype now, and especially because the prime minister in Holland makes it even worse. And they don't see what kind of amazing belief and peace Muslim are. So when people question you, I mean, people who are your fellow Christians, when they are surprised and shocked and they question you, yeah. uh, that why you're a Muslim, what do you tell them? I tell them actually, and, and, and there are people close to me, they, they were surprised when I converted. Uh, some I lost, uh, but that's their choice and they're lost. Um, they, I, again, that's a, a stereotype again. I don't care what you are. I, I respect you, what you are. Um, I just talk about it, sit down and like to speak about it with them. I have a very close friend over 14 years. And he became, well, he actually wants to become next year. Uh, uh, he wants to convert a Muslim. Uh, and um, I never suspect that from him. But we have a lot of talks about it. So, yeah, I like to speak about it when somebody is saying, why are you Muslim? And I like to sit down and take 10 minutes to have a chat about it. So, is Islam spreading across Europe? It's just your political definitely. experience? Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, definitely. So... How do we how do we explain? I mean, why there is a hunger for Islam to spread across Europe? I think it's really hard. I think people like you can. You're a big example uh, to spread it um, to the society. I think uh, uh, we live in a very difficult world to understand about a belief, especially what's happening now. I think um, people just point fingers. And we just need to find a, a way to say it's the opposite. So I think we need to do that. But that will be, time is not in our hand. We can't control time. But we can control and spread the great words of the Muslim culture. So how was the transition from Holland and Dutch culture to United Kingdom? I'm Dutch. I have Dutch blood in me. I will always feel warm when I speak about like now, about the the family that gave me this culture of Muslim. In England, I feel amazing, don't get me wrong. I have a very close friend and he's a doctor. He's from Iraq and Dean amazing guy I go with him to the mosque and I feel home as in Holland with the family so we speak so much about everything actually why am I how do I feel about it so it's 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 yeah it's it's, it's but in amazing. terms of Islamophobia how do you find is England different Britain different from Holland yeah therefore because in Holland you have, in Britain you have, uh, the population is big in Muslim. Holland is not. So Holland is still Christianity and Catholic. So I think in Holland you can spread it more and beautiful, positive than in Britain. Because Britain is already, look at Birmingham, is one of the biggest Muslim culture. Um, so it's everywhere. I, I, yeah. Yeah, Holland, I feel more home to be a Muslim. Britain as well, but it's already there. And everybody is mostly Muslim there. So my last set of questions. I mean, you and your wife are now also exploring the United States for the past yes. several days uh, to become, to call U.S. your home. Why? Um, what they always say is a great opportunity in life and i think uh, as well uh, lots of people here i've met some couple of muslims uh people yesterday in where we are staying amazing people and uh, he actually texted me <laughs> today about uh, in washington dc uh muslim restaurants so halal uh, i do eat halal 
And um, I think we can spread here more the positive in a country as the United States. Yeah. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum.